Beauregard Rippy here. Wednesday morning, October 30th. I'm at an estate auction near Marion, Ohio. I won't be going in town today, but I like to get some video of the estate sale here. It's on a busy highway. Got a good parking spot. The man uh, and the wife passed away in 2018. Uh, the lady died in the spring and he the man died in the fall and they were both in their mid 70s and they seemed like really cool people and a nice couple and they were both collectors it looks like to my knowledge which is very limited and he had a booth at the flea market every week so maybe the man and the wife well, they would take turns and walk around and pick the markets every week. His booth was railroad related. We're near Marion, Ohio. Uh, he owned a service station in Prospect, which is uh, like a thousand population, maybe. Like a little one, just a nice little American town, a nice couple. They got this place here a few miles outside of the big town, which is Marion. And then. So they're parking cars out back. And. I, howdy. And. I've seen people park out here and uh, they get stuck in this ditch. So I parked on the other side of the road. Um, there's a show car here. He, he was a service manager in the body shop of a local car dealer, a new car dealer. Uh, quite a career. They had two boys, I think, and they would be my age. With them in their 70s, their boys would be in their 50s. And this um, auction is assigned a estate like a probate number. And you wonder what's going on in these cases where... The people were professional sellers themselves with a flea market booth and everything and then they have their estate go to auction you know to the highest bidder and uh having a fuel station in town that he has a complete set of professional tools snap on and uh mac extensive mac some uh, uh one toolbox was still in a plastic brand new they had to break the plastic to take the picture. Um, new tools. The man uh, was a race car enthusiast of all things. Here we have Marion uh, County International Speedway and everything. Uh, he ran a, this guy ran a quarter mile in seven seconds at 198 miles an hour. So, we're going to uh, see what's over here. I've been down this road a hundred times. Uh, the auctioneer's right here too, so I'm trying to be discreet. Doing a little preview. Do a little auction preview here, a little paved lot. Looks like he might have ran a garage out of his house. So here's the show car. It's a 1980, and it's a big two two door car, LeBaron. And this guy, it is. It's really sexy looking, and I think it's been repainted. He was a body man, and then he taught auto body at the local prison Marion Correctional and this automobile has a 225 slant 6 engine got a silver valve cover on it I thought it'd be blue 1980 slant 6 225 Look at that little little radiator 225 slant 6 yeah so it's kind of a sleeper this, this guy ran a quarter mile in seven seconds at 198 miles an hour and his, yeah and then he's got this and that
Brian will be starting right out there under the tree in the front yard. So again, if you're just arriving, please get you a bit number inside the house. All the rolling stock does have a time on it. I think it's 1 o'clock when that stuff sells. We will be starting at 10 o'clock inside this uh, garage sale, and we will be in two rings. Two rings. Uh-huh. At 10 a.m. will be the first start. Wednesday morning, guys. That's a brand new hood. It's an 8N Ford right here. Brand new. Reproduction. 8N parts. He had a lantern collection. So. Check out the low boy. Gas can collection. Not a lot of daylight all this right, time of year. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's still time. First of all, we have the Bill Higgins Realty and Auction Company. I want to thank you for attending the Rambo State Auction. He's starting uh, early. The of, uh, the Rambo, uh, it's a six-volt tractor, State low boy. There's uh, about a dozen guns. He's starting early. The boys aren't here. 69. They're still bringing stuff out of the house. Because it, it could rain. A banner collection. What do you give? Something brand new here in the box. A brand new uh, radio. For an uh, antique automobile. Look at this stuff. How old it is. Wow. They're just starting 20 minutes early. I, I, they do. This guy sold 15 cars Saturday. Just money laying around. Um, uh, don't know what that would be. That's pretty wild looking. A turntable of some sort. Toy trains. They'll make them look a toy robot. This is definitely going to get interesting. The little tune up box here. So here's one of the toolboxes. It looks to be empty. But the side box. In new condition. A backyard. This is the box that they had in the plastic. That would be his racing helmet. This one's for horse racing? No, motorcycle? I think so. Some cool old hel a helmet collection. But yeah, a lot of tools here, gas station stuff, Mac tools and the specialty tools there, Blue Point, the license plate collection, 
uh, Aparema. You wonder what those sell for on eBay. Rod and custom, uh, This is a guy, I've seen some people that, this guy would build his own roadsters. There's uh, boxes of trophies over here. They're bringing stuff out as fast as they can. Check out the boxes of trophies. Uh, fishing poles, miscellaneous. Uh, there was some signage too from the speedways. Some pretty cool signage. Yeah, I can see why he started early. My gosh. You know, I mean, this is going to be another interesting auction for sure. So glad we stopped up. It wasn't as far as I thought it would be. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Bogard Rippy here. Estate auction uh, midweek.